Hello lovely people, Alyssa here. Welcome back. Ever wanted a terrarium that looks great but doesn't need sunlight or water? A terrarium you can keep anywhere and forget about maintaining it? Today, let's make one together with dried moss. Here's what you'll need. First, you need a glass bottle. Try one with thin walls, as this will have less distortion from the glass, so you'll be able to enjoy seeing what's inside your terrarium more clearly. Then, you need substrate. We're using black lava rock today, which helps our design pop. For the hardscape, we'll use red lava rock today. This contrasts well against the green of the plants. Of course, you can use what tickles your fancy. We're also using tiny fragments of red lava rock that we can sprinkle into the scape later for detail. Then, for the star of the show today, we'll be using dried real moss. I ordered this online as live moss and it comes in a dried state for transport. This preserves its look quite well in storage when kept dry. Finally, you need some tools. Today we're using tweezers and a long handled spoon or shovel. This makes it easy to work in a small bottle. Now for the build. First, lay the substrate. Since we will keep this terrarium 100% dry, you won't need a drainage layer. Pro tip! Creating a slope will give more depth to your terrarium. Next, add the hardscape. Arrange it to your liking. Then, plant. Since we're keeping this terrarium 100% dry, the dried moss will stay in its preserved state. There's no need to worry about how and where you're planting it. It will be fine even if you place it awkwardly on the glass. For today, we'll still place the moss in areas such that it looks more natural. But hey, know that you can do anything you like. Finally, for some finishing touches, sprinkle fragments of your hardscape to give it some detail. Today, we'll use fragments of red lava rock as it matches the hardscape. Once you're happy with your layout, you're all done. No watering or sunlight needed, place it wherever you like. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. What do you think of dried plants for terrariums? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy planting!